I'm super excited because I'm back with Nick again and uh, Nick is the product and strategy leader at Dremio. Nick, uh, welcome to The Robert Show again. We met at Big Data Learning just a few months back and uh, we had so much to discuss there and things have changed rapidly after that as well. Like, I, I feel in the world that we are living, uh, things are changing quite fast, right? Uh, every, like in Gen AI world, it's every day or every hour, I would say. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure you might have some amazing insights and I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about what's happening at Dremio, what are you listening from customers, prospects, what hap what's happening on the product side. Uh, and definitely we are jumping into the 2024 trends. Uh, and just for our audience, if uh, they want to learn a little about uh, me and uh, like how and I, I and Nick uh, have a relation is we have a sneaker competition <laughs> that, that kind of goes. Uh, so he has a new kicks right now uh, that he's wearing. Uh, but we'll go on that uh, next conference. We, Always going to we'll stay on brand, man. Always <laughs> going to stay on brand. Thank awesome. Uh, but just for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, I think most of the time it's the easiest way to say like, I've been on the other side with most customers. So I've been a data analytics platform yep. leader at Nike, uh, Zendesk, American Eagle, uh, Philips, Concur, and then I actually started my career at NSA. So I've actually only been on this side of the table for yeah. the past year and a half. Yeah. And for me, it's just, you know, instead of helping one customer, I can help 80 to 800. Wow. And that's where the fun's been. Love so. it. Yeah. No, 100%. In uh, since we are here at reInvent, I'm, I'm kind of excited to learn more about what are your thoughts and key takeaways uh, that you have at uh, AWS reInvent 2023. Yeah, um, maybe I'll say it from the customer side and the yeah. conversations yeah. I've had. Because uh, even since we talked to Big Data London, I really shifted heavier and more to like the field of chief data officer side yes. at Dremio. Yes. And Frankly, I'm spending about three days a week with our customers directly helping them design their data architectures. Exactly. And frankly, connecting that to business value. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, and that's been most of the conversations I've had here, where a lot of the customers or prospects I'm chatting with are like, they're playing with these technologies, they're trying stuff, but a lot of the time it's more about like what scale look like, right? And meeting a use case is one thing, it's very easy, yep. but thinking about scale and how all these things fit together, and I think that's... That's where I'd even push you know, our industry counterparts of going, how do we partner and have these better together stories? Yeah. So that's been the biggest thing I, I've been pulling away outside of obviously things like Gen AI and AML yeah. and walk by every booth, you're going to see things like that. True. Yeah. Okay, just uh, moving gears in terms of uh, the trends as well, since we are on this topic, uh, I've been hearing a lot uh, of, like, this is my favorite question to ask all the data leaders as well, like, uh, what are the, since we are just around the corner and 2024 is almost here. Do you have any data prediction, data AI predictions, I would say, uh, that you would like to share with our audience? Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe say one that I hope gets more and more serious. And uh, I'll give a shout out to my buddy, Chad um, Sanderson, who oh, yeah. started out is the, the data contracts piece, right? Love it, There's, yeah. We've been talking about data products and mesh and fabric, but the thing we, we continue to kind of ignore is like, what does it look like to continue to mature these assets in the enterprise? Right. And that also moves into things like data governance, right? And I've had so many conversations, even with some of our, our new partners on the enterprise level, where not starting at the whole enterprise, right? Going sure. really into some of the key initiatives and going, how are we now thinking about stewardship? How does it mean for catalog, knowing most companies have five or six, right? And Germany yeah. is part of that. Exactly. So I think that's the piece is you're thinking about governance, stewardship, and data contracts. I think that's going to be a huge piece moving into next year and where half of my conversations normally shift. Even when we're talking about Dremio, we kind of move into that, how do you make it real for the enterprise? Yeah. And I think that's going to be one of the top ones I think next year. I love it. And do you also want to share something? Like I've been also hearing a lot around, you know, data engineering obviously being the hot hot cake there, but also how do you kind of connect it with the Gen AI? Do you, do you have that type of angle where you can connect the dots uh, for data engineering and Gen AI? Yeah, I think Obviously, walk around reinvents, and everyone's talking about Gen AI, right? True. So True. the expectation, I would say, for a consumer is everyone has at least some level of maturity in Gen AI, right? And frankly, some path towards more advanced maturity, mm -hmm. and moving into things like vector enablement and so forth. Exactly. Right? Right. So for us, yeah, we have the text to SQL functionality. We're moving into vector-based capabilities, right? So we're on the same train. The, the thing that I continue to work with, you know, chat with our product teams and our customers is think about what the actual experience is for the user and what the real use cases are going to be tied to that. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I think as long as we continue down that road, it's it's no different than are we asking the right questions to the right systems and not getting the wrong answers? Yeah, yeah. Like not having the issue we had of the 
data democratization process years ago. Yeah. Of going, let's let's responsibly roll these things out exactly. so that the yeah. right sources right, yeah. are actually answering the questions. Yeah. And I think that's that's something I've seen a lot where a lot of the customers that I'm chatting with is, do we even have a definition of what sales was yesterday? Or does everything have an asterisk on it? Mm. And if you're using Gen AI function functionality, is it crawling the right sources that have facts? Yeah. So again, back to the governance part. I love it. And 100% uh, agreed in terms of the real-time applications and the real, real use cases. That's what matters the most to the enterprise companies as well right now. So uh, that's uh, one of the key components, I would say, in terms of when we look at Gen AI as well. Yeah, and, uh, and I'd only probably add too is yeah. Drumio space in that one. Obviously, like we provide some of that functionality. But also, it's powering those, right? True. So you you chat with with Mersk a couple months ago. At, yes, at that's right. Oh my God, he's amazing. Uh, yeah. Mark, shout out to Mark if you're out there yeah. listening. Yeah. Um, but like Dremio actually powers all the execution of that. Yeah. Right. So I think for us, we play on both sides of it. And it's really about what a customer's user experience wants to drive. And yeah. then it's like, yeah, we can dabble in both. But at the end of the day, it's really about the customer and the experience of their user. Hundred percent. I love it, Nick. This was such a pleasure, and uh, it's like it's always good to meet you at conferences. And uh, for those who don't follow Nick, he kind of goes out and shares amazing content. You need to follow him. Uh, um, and thanks for doing this, Nick. And uh, I can't wait to see what's coming up in 2024. I appreciate it. And we're gonna have to do one of these with me in a black rabbit sweatshirt. <laughs> we'll do it. Yes, yeah. next time. Awesome. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks, Nick. Yeah.